percent down, percent down, percent down. I absolutely love percent down, percent down, percent down. What's going on guys? I am back and like we did in the last video, we're trying to uh, go through these uh, unboxings a little bit faster. Instead of waiting every week for three packages, we're actually going to knock out 10 today. It's a perfect 10! Sit back, enjoy, watch the video, let me know in the comments below what you think looks really cool because I don't know, you got to tell me. Also, check out my shirt. Pretty cool. Fatletic training, I'm that guy. So if you like what you see, look down below now let's get to the unboxing all right so first up let's see we got some cleopatra records so i have no idea what this is it has um a little bit of uh fragile on the exterior here it must be italian cool stuff we have something coming from cleopatra records as well as mvd visual we have a taste of blood Now this looks really cool, uh, a, a new spin to the vampire genre, that's what Variety says anyway. And um, yeah, from what I'm seeing, there looks like some pretty cool stuff here on the back. Uh, I remember promoting this not too long ago, and I thought the cover art was really cool too. Taste of Blood, pretty cool stuff. All right, moving on to the next one, we have some MVD, feels like another hefty boy here. Oh yeah, so I really wanted this one, this is really cool. Girls Night Out. And away we go. I'm a big fan of these like forgotten slashers and I mean look at that you can't not love that uh, I almost picked this up at um, Texas Frightmare but I ended up passing and I'm buying something else just because I knew that this would always be available um, they all went in but only a few got out so a new slasher for me to check out courtesy of Arrow Video girls night out and then we have some check this from uh for wild things uhd and one arm boxer can't say i'm familiar with one arm boxer but uh wild things <laughs> yeah there was one particular scene that my vcr is very familiar with hi mr lombardo well go usa on the way yeah this one uh baby assassins so as you guys just saw the trailer for this looks fantastic this is also part of the uh hiya hiya originals i thought this looked really really good i was excited to check this out uh, also a fantasia official selection i always speak highly of the stuff that fantasia picks to show at their festival um so yeah i think that this was a good scoop by wellgo usa you guys check this one out you know obviously the trailer played you guys know what you're getting into it looks like good stuff all right this one comes from wild eye releasing Excited to check this out. Wild Eye always sends the goods. So first off the bat we have, oh this comes from video, uh, Visual Vengeance, their new, their new label. This is Bloody Muscle Body Builder in Hell. So this is a 1995 Japan film coming from Wild Eye and Visual Vengeance. Looks freaking epic. And then another release we have is uh, the Necro Files coming from Visual Vengeance as well as Wild Eye. Fifteen department psychiatrists found nothing wrong with me. I'm really loving this new label from Wild Eye. They're putting out some underrated, I guess, classics. Visual Vengeance, Wild Eye. Yeah, you guys keep doing what you do. And I got a new sticker for the for the uh, TV. And we got some stickers for the film. The films. Awesome stuff. Thank you, guys. Moving on. This one comes from Cult Epics. Naked Over the Fence. Hey, a letter came today. 
honestly, they put out good stuff. They put out high quality stuff. These companies are, um, you know, a lot of times grassroots companies, especially, especially Cult Epics. Uh, Nico does great stuff over there. Uh, sexy comedy thriller turned in turn cult classic. Dutch starring role Sylvia Crystal right before she appeared in Emmanuel. If you are like anything like me, you grew up watching Emmanuel on your grandparents, HBO, Cinemax, you know, as soon as they went to bed. Emmanuel is the best stuff as far as late night TV. So why would you not want to pick up Naked Over the Fence? This one comes from MVD and we have, ooh, Dark Night of the Scarecrow 2. <laughs> MVD visual by way of VCI Entertainment, a perfect sequel to a made for TV cult classic. So this would be a nice companion piece to watch back to back to back, or maybe just two backs. What do we have here? Coming from HBO and Warner Brothers, we have Constantine, the House of Mystery. Why can't your mind be still? <sighs> Uh, I, you know, I, again, I, I think DC is, is good with these animated films. They might be missing, uh, the boat as far as their, uh, you know, live action films, excluding Batman, of course. These are just fun. So this is a DC showcase of animated shorts from Constantine. If you are in the mood for some Constantine, you're in the mood for some, like, I guess, animated horror. This is probably right up your alley. Available now. So go check it out. Go grab it while you can. I think we have some more Warner Brothers here. Oh my goodness. We have The Batman, the complete animated series. How'd you do that? I'm the Batman. Yeah, I uh, I never watched this, but I have always been curious. I've caught bits and pieces of this. Uh, Batman, the ultimate vigilante, the complete series, courtesy of Warner Brothers, DC, and uh, I'm assuming that this might be on HBO. Not entirely sure, but, uh, but yeah, cool. I've never watched this, so it'll be fun to jump into this. Batman the complete the Batman the complete animated series we have Welgo USA coming in hot all right we have Spirit Walker No memory, no allies, nowhere left to run. Welga USA putting out good stuff, 2021. Fast pace from the get-go, Spirit Walker. I'm gonna check this out soon. Looks like a good, good time. All right, and last but not least, we have something from DSP Ross. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is not what I thought it was, but I am happy to receive this. Dingo. So we did a review for this on Cinedump.com. Check it out. There's probably going to be a little bubble here that pops up and you can click it. Uh, this is a film where uh, I believe it was long lost and uh, stars Mr. Miles Davis himself. Um, and it finally got found and, and released. Comes to us by Dark Star Pictures. That's DSP. And I think that this is a pretty cool release. Michael had a lot to say about it. So make sure you check out the review. I have not checked it out yet. So I'm happy to check it out. And thank you, Dark Star Pictures. Miles Davis, long lost film. So, 10 more packages. Please, sir. I want some more. Now, let's talk about what my favorite release is, or what my favorite releases are. And I am going to have to side with Wild Eye Entertainment as well as Visual Vengeance, because I am just so happy that these guys started a new, like, sister, brother label, and it's going to be some more of this, like, uh, like over the top. Uh, I mean, this is the American video nasty here in my hand, the necrophiles. And this is also known as the Japanese evil dead, uh, the bloody muscle bodybuilder in hell. So, I mean, these, these are films that like 
collectors you know look for these are the movies we want and uh visual vengeance um you know is is on to something here and i'm i'm happy to support so make you make sure you guys do as well just to give you a little heads up here's a here's a quick like a quick quote for this one here the necrophiles a jaw-droppingly gore trash fest really sick and twisted and then on the back of this other one here the bloody muscle bodybuilder in hell jacked up on gore bloody muscle bodybuilder in hell is a worthy addition to the twisted family tree so wild eye entertainment visual vengeance thank you guys go buy these check them out let me know in the comments below what you thought is cool and what you think i should check out i love you guys talk to you later thanks for watching bye